Most TV shows aren't weird enough. Weird things happen on them, everyone's seen Twin Peaks and loves an homage, but truly weird TV shows are rare. Rarer still are shows like Doom Patrol, a series that is genuinely strange and unexpected at every turn, but also just as deeply interested in empathy as it is grossing you out or making you laugh. Calling it a superhero show feels like a disservice, it's more like therapy that happens to feature superheroes as well as talking cockroaches and paintings that eat people. Doom Patrol is back this week for a second season after hopping over to HBO Max from its previous home on the DC Universe app, where it can still be streamed, and it boasts one of the most unusual casts of protagonists you'll see in any show, let alone a comic book one. In the eponymous Doom Patrol, there's Cliff Steele, a former racer with his brain now in a robot body, the racer is played by Brendan Fraser, the robot body by Riley Shanahan, Jane, a system of 64 distinct personalities, each with their own superpower, most are played by Diane Guerrero, Rita Farr, a golden age actress whose body can turn to goop, played by April Bowlby, Larry Trainer, a horribly scarred pilot who shares his body with a negative energy spirit, played by Matt Bomer in voice and in flashbacks, and Matthew Zuck in his fully bandaged costume, and Vic Cyborg Stone, an aspiring superhero who became part machine following an accident, played by Joy Van Wade. This gang of misfits has been gathered by Niles Calder, Timothy Dalton, who is immediately abducted by the mysterious, seemingly all-powerful Mr. Nobody. Despite their clear lack of chemistry and very few noble intentions, the ad hoc team goes on a mission to find the man who brought them together, encountering all manner of bizarre threats along the way. The elevator pitch for the Doom Patrol comic book is that they are the world's strangest superheroes, and is created by Bob Haney, Arnold Drake, and Bruno Premiani in the 1960s, that mostly meant a team of outcasts the outside world regarded as freaks, taking on the oddest villains its creators could dream up, like the animal vegetable mineral man, a dude who was part plant, part rock, and part dinosaur. The Doom Patrol TV show has a lot of those classic comics in its DNA, but it takes its biggest cues from the comic's late 80s reinvention by writer Grant Morrison and artist Richard Case, an acclaimed stretch of stories that took the team in a surreal direction, with Dadaist villains who wanted to plunge the world into absurdity and characters like Danny the Street, a sentient non-binary city block that travels from town to town. The result is a show that's maybe the most beautiful mess on television. Broken people who barely understand themselves confront incomprehensibly strange threats.